Hello everybody, welcome to the Home Depot Center. It is a gorgeous day in Southern California. You're about to see some top soccer action from the likes of Hope Solo, Alex Morgan, Abby Wambach, who entertained the nation en route to that glorious gold medal at London 2012. Today, a friendly against Australia. Part of the NBC team today, Kate Margraff. Hi, Kate. A World Cup winner in 1999, twice an Olympic gold medalist as well. And look who's joined us. It's start, the start of the long goodbye for Pia Sundhager, head coach of the United States women's national team. You dropped the bombshell, Pia, just before the last game a couple of weeks ago in Rochester, before the Costa Rica game, that you're stepping down from the job. You're going back home for what is a dream job for you, I suppose, the Sweden national job. You've got a big job on there with the European Championships next year. How tough was this decision to make for you? It was, uh, it's mixed feelings, uh, bittersweet, because it's hard to, to leave the best team in the world. Uh, I think I'm a better coach today, uh, being around those guys for five years. And just the fact that, just have a chat with Abby Wolbeck, you know, that's something I will look back and say, well, back in the good old days, I had a chat with Abby Wolbeck. I don't, he sometimes even told her what to do. So that is, uh, and at the same time, I wanted to go home. You know, I've been away from, from Sweden five years and another year in China. And the fact that it's a European Championship in, in Sweden, and that's huge. Well, tell us, Pio, what was it like in your homecoming? I heard it was kind of like you were, it was rock star status. It was absolutely crazy. I couldn't even believe it because, you know, they were saying that when they hired the, the men's coach, uh, it was fairly crazy. But that was nothing compared to this. So uh, media cover and, and uh, all, all those interviews, they cared about the women's soccer. They were, they were curious about what I had to say. And you can imagine in media, so I was very happy to talk about this team, that they have made me look good. And it's uh, something I hopefully, hopefully could bring back to Sweden. Uh, Pia, you've done so much in almost five years in this job. Olympic champions in 2008 and in 2012, of course. Runners up epically in 2011 at the World Cup. Can you isolate one, maybe two memories that you'll take with you over to Sweden? Well, the first year when we lost against Norway, 2-0, and you were there. <laughs> and then we turned that around with American players. We believed in something. The moment in my soccer life is Abby Wombach's goal against Brazil in the quarterfinal uh, during the World Cup. And that was something that is just extraordinary. Uh, it's magic. Uh, imagine magic, and that is better than a movie. And I have to say, just enter Wembley. If you like soccer, uh, if you go into Wembley as, uh, uh, you know, just watching a game or coaching or playing, I was there coaching the best team in the world, and we won. You can't beat that. So, Pia, this team won the World Cup back in 1999, and not since then. What does this team need to do and improve on in order to recapture that title? Well, uh, I don't know if, uh, if I'm the right person to, you know, to, to say to say anything about that. But one thing I, I truly believe in is a passion. If they bring the passion, the new generation, they have to bring the passion, uh, like you did when you play back then. Uh, and the other thing is, if you find technical players. You can make a choice whether you want to go straight, direct, or if you want to play 4-3-3 or 4-4-2, whatever the formation is, or if you want to keep possession. But you need technical players, and you, you need players that read the game fairly well. So that I think that will be the next step, because if um, this team improves the game, all the other teams, all the other countries, they need to improve the games as well, and that will raise the level on the women's game. Pia, thanks for joining us so close to kickoff. Good luck today, and good luck in the new job in Sweden. Thank all you. the very best.